Zuma is one of the South African politicians who continue to face criminal charges in the court of law. His cases has been ongoing for years now, and they are not simply coming to an end. With him being in prison in the meantime, and his case is expected to continue, there are difficulties, as it is not clear on whether he should go to the court of law or not. The NPA, in the meantime, are bringing what happened in the week when the former president Jacob Zuma was arrested into attention. His arrest was followed by unrest in the whole country. That's why we witnessed so many buildings being bent in so many corners of the country and people taking what doesn't belong to them from shops. The former president of the country now was expected to be going to the prison for his trial. All the things which happened are now coming back once again. It's said that they don't want to put things at risk, as so many things can happen when he is going to appear in the court of law for his trial. But the former president of the country insists to go. But despite all their arguments, the former president of the country is now challenging them based on the right that he has. Also indicated that he has a right to be personally appearing there in the court of law. I think he is right. Also checking the fact that it is not his fault for all those things to be happening. On the other hand, the security service has outlined the fact that if the former president of the country appears in the court of law in person, they will obviously take all reasonable steps to ensure that there is safety and everyone is safe from many other things which can be attempting to disturb peace to all of them, something to we must be appreciated of. The former president of the country must be protected by the state. He must be allowed to be enjoying his rights like many other people. Whatever happened after his arrest was not started by him and he is not the one who was in the forefront of all those things. He must be subjected to law which all citizens are being subjected to.